Welcome back everyone to another top 10 fact video. Today we're going to be talking about Batman. Fact number one is that Batman actually used to kill criminals. Batman, as you all may know, is known as a hero who never actually kills. But there was actually a time that he had no problem brutally dispatching of those he came up against in battle. This was back in the 30s, 40s and 50s for the most part. And the Cape Crusader would frequently hurl gangsters off of rooftops. Or even push them into vats of acid. As if that wasn't brutal enough. He even killed a group of henchmen with a machine gun in Batman number 1, declaring much as I hate to take human life, I'm afraid this time it's necessary. If you need further proof about just what a tough sob this early version of the iconic superhero was, you once kicked so and so hard, you broke their neck. Batman's mother became the Joker in alternate reality. The Flashpoint story seriously shook up things in a major way for many superheroes, but Batman was one of the most that actually changed. It was revealed that it was the young Bruce who had actually been shot that night in Crime Alley, with his parents actually surviving. This led to Thomas becoming a much darker version of the Cape Crusader, and an unhinged Martha mutilating herself and transforming into the Joker. When Batman told her he had a way to fix their reality, creating the new 52, the Joker committed suicide upon realising that it would mean that someone would grow up to become Batman. Fact number 3 is that Batman never really fully formed as a character until the late 1940s. When you look at a lot of Marvel's characters, many of the most defining traits were introduced almost exactly at the same time they first appeared. Things have obviously been added and changed over the years, but the basic blueprint was always there. Batman however took quite a bit of time to become anything remotely close to what he is now. Gotham City wasn't actually introduced until 1940, the now iconic Bat Signal didn't shine until 1942. The Batcave wasn't unearthed until 1948. Before then, Batman had just been shown to just have a hangar in a deserted barn. This decade introduced a lot of what makes him so iconic. Fact number 4 is that Batman single-handedly beat Darkseid. Darkseid may have once killed off Batman, but he actually ended up being sent back in time in another convoluted story from Grand Morrison. But when a hero paid a visit to Apocalypse, recently in a special Batsuit, he gave the icon villain a real beating. The suit itself was slowly killing Bruce, but it gave him enough of an advantage to level the playing field in what was a very cool moment. The whole Justice League struggled to take down Darkseid, so seeing Batman, a normal person with no powers, giving him an actual run for his money was actually pretty funny to see, and just goes to show that Batman is one of the toughest heroes in the DC Universe. Fact number 5 is that it took 2 years to animate his cape in Arkham Asylum, the video game. Rocksteady's Arkham games are massively popular, and understandably so. They've now become the benchmark of everything a superhero video game should be, and the level of thought and detail which went into them is just amazing. For proof of that, look no further than the fact that one member of the small team working on Batman Arkham Asylum spent a solid two years working on animations for the cape, alone. In total there were 700 of them, that includes sound effects as well, and all of this was done to help make the game as realistic and rewarding as possible for those who played it. Fact number 6 is that Batman actually used to use guns. One of Batman's most defining qualities is the fact that he despises using guns. This is obviously down to the way his parents were murdered in Crime Alley when he was a youngster, but for a time the Cape Crusade had no problem arming himself with a six gun during his patrols. During his early appearances, Batman was more of a crime fighting Sherlock Holmes than the superhero he's since become, so being equipped with a firearm made a certain amount of sense I guess. It was something which didn't last for very long though as creator Bob Kane later said that the character carrying a gun just didn't feel right to him. Fact number 6 is that Bruce Wayne is actually named after two historical figures. A little more thought was put into Batman's alter ego, however with co-creator Bill Finger choosing Bruce Wayne from two historical figures. Scots Patriot King Bruce I of Scotland, who led the wars of Scottish independence, provided the Cape Crusader's first name, while Brigadier General Anthony Wayne, a hero of the American Revolutionary War, is responsible for the surname, even though it's just a small touch and one which hasn't really ultimately had a huge impact on Batman's adventures, but it actually adds some weight to him, that's for sure. Fact number 7 is that it would cost roughly $300 million just to become the Batman. After all, the popular book Batman Unauthorized conducted a study into just how much it would cost to become the Dark Knight himself, and it's around the $300 million mark. Other estimates have placed it closer to $1 billion, but however you look at it, being Batman just ain't cheap. For example, it would cost around $3.5 million 
to even put together a basic version of the Batcave. And the Batmobile is roughly the same price. Fact number 8 is that Batman's original costume was way different. Bob Kane's original idea was drastically different as you can see. Despite the backlight wings, the blonde hair, domino mask and bright red outfit are all a far cry from the gothic superhero Bruce Wayne would actually become. And it's hard to imagine this version of the Batman having the same sort of longevity as the one ultimately introduced. Fact number 9 is that Batman actually became the Batman at age 25. Batman's age was always a hot topic of debate among comic book fans. Unlike Marvel, the DC Universe has rebooted itself a number of different times. But for a long time, it definitely appeared as if Bruce Wayne must have been near middle age, if not as early to mid 40s. The new 52 established that he became Batman at 25 though, something which means he's currently around 30 years of age. And fact number 10 is that Batman once merged with Wolverine. And one of the rare crossovers between Marvel and DC, Batman and Wolverine were merged into a character known as Logan Wayne, aka Dark Claw. It actually legitly happened. The origin stories were mashed together, so now it was Logan who witnessed his parents' murders as a child. However, he then moved to Canada and it was there that a lot of Wolverine's origin took place. Dark Claw's costume obviously incorporates elements of both of these fan favorite superheroes, including adamantanium claws he received from Weapon X. This was one of those really weird 90s stories, so don't expect to see it in a movie. That's pretty much it for today's top 10 video. If you have any suggestions for a future video, just leave them in the comments below. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you learned something new. See you all in the next video.